Hey guys, welcome to Halfling Carvings. Today I want to talk to you about the different types of carving knives that you might want to use if you're just now getting into it and you aren't sure what you should buy. Um, there's a lot out there and you know it can be a little confusing so we're going to take a look at a few of the ones that I have and go over the pros and cons to each. I've got a few knives out here. Um, obviously you can use a pocket knife um, if you are just trying to get into carving. You don't want to spend any money and you have a pocket knife around. As long as it's sharp you can start with that. Um, the bigger the blade, the harder it's going to be to control, so um, you might want to try something that has a smaller blade than something like this. Um, so that's one option, um, but if you're looking at buying an actual carving knife or a knife specialized or meant for carving, um, these are some great options. Beavercraft makes this knife. It's a detail knife. It's a company out of Ukraine. Um, they're very cheap. You can get these on Amazon. I think this one was about $13. And it's, it's a great option, um, you know, if you want to get into carving, you don't want to spend a lot of money, um, this is going to be your best bet because, you know, if you end up not liking it, you didn't waste all your money, you know, buying some $60 knife or something. Um, so this is a great option. They're super sharp, they hold an edge really well. I actually haven't even sharpened this one yet because it's still cutting through wood fine and I've carved quite a bit with it. Um, Another option is FlexCut. FlexCut makes a variety of tools and knives and they can be found online on their website or on Amazon. Um, they're also found in a lot of woodworking stores. So if you don't want to order it online and you just want to go to Rockler or Lee Valley or something like that, um, they're carried in a lot of stores. So that's another really great option. These are a little more expensive um, and they have they're about 25 a piece, 20 to 25, and they have a little bit thicker bend handle, so if you have bigger hands, I have very small hands, so if you have bigger hands, you might not want to have something that has such a thin handle to it, so that might just be a little bit of personal preference, but um, yeah, so that's another good option. Um, more knives makes knives that are more geared towards spoon carvers. Um, these are, it's a Sloyd style knife. Um, but this is made out of Sweden, I believe, and uh, they're, they're really great knives. They're sharp, um, you know, they make different blade lengths, so you can get ones with smaller blades. Um, and a lot of carvers use these exclusively. Um, and especially if you wanna get into spoon carving, this is gonna be one of the most popular options out there. Um, if you want something that's specialized for carving and is a little more premium, um, Drake is a really great option. Um, you can get these online. They're about 35 a piece. Um, you can find them on their website, Drake's website. Um, and they have different blade profiles and handle profiles. You can get all types of different, you know, shapes and, you know, lengths. And so they're a little easier to customize. Um, and they're really great knives. Um, yeah, so it's a little more expensive, but, you know, that might be something you jump into later down the road. I'd say for the beginner that's just trying to get into it, this would be the knife I would go with because I've really enjoyed this knife. Um, it's, you know, super sharp, it holds that edge, and it's cheap. Um, and you don't want to waste a bunch of money if you're not sure what you want and, or if you don't have the, you know, cash on hand to get something a little nicer. This is a great knife. So I hope this was helpful and cleared up some of the questions you might have. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.